Hey guys, what's up? So, I just wanted to make a little update. So, actually just three days ago, there was a cat. I'm not sure what cat it was. I think it was like a gray tabby something like that. If that's a cat, I don't know if that's a breed or not. But, it was well, it was, so, picked up a cat three days ago from our uh, driveway. And three days ago, she wasn't even walking. Every time she tried to stand up, she collapsed. So, then we thought, well, that was actually at night. Me and Daddy were going out to um, look and see if there's raccoons, because there's recently been some chickens missing. So, we went out, I brought, actually, I brought this right here. This is my new gel blaster. It got off of Amazon. So, and this is not a sponsorship, just saying. So, we found her up in our driveway. And then the next morning, I went outside with Mimi and Christian, him right here. Um, and then we saw the cat, it moved in that little ditch where those, there's a bunch of tire marks. So she moved there and then we went back inside to, I believe, well, we went back inside for a little while. And we came back out to look at the cat. She was over where Mommy's truck is. Now, Mommy was at work when this happened. So, we saw her normally where Mommy's truck would be. And then we went back inside to relax for a little bit. We went back out once again. Um, she had moved. She, so she kept going farther, probably moving herself <clears throat> to the brook that we have. Now, a fun fact about mainly every animal, you know that they're gonna die when, when um, they're going to water. Because that's where they're, that's where they probably wanna die. So, uh, she was probably moving closer to the brook. We found her by a rock. When we came back out, we went back in, probably to have lunch, I believe. And then we went back out after lunch, and we saw her in the bushes. That was when Mommy got home, and basically we had to go to Grammy's to help her with stuff. So then when we got home, Daddy got home, uh, we were like, okay, let's bring the cat inside and let's check her out, let's feed her, let's do all this stuff. So then I said, so then we brought her inside and I believe we started, no, we brought her on the deck, started feeding her and giving her water. And then uh, we went down to the playhouse and we got a cage behind the playhouse. And then we uh, put her out on the backyard, uh, not on the backyard, mm -hmm. on the deck. And um, this was Tuesday, so Nana and Papa came over. Oh. When Nana and Papa left, then we brought her inside and put her in the office. That's where she is now. So now, so in that past three days, the first day that we saw her, yeah. she wasn't even eating, she wasn't drinking, she wasn't pooping or peeing. Now, we got her eating, we got her drinking, pooping and peeing. Yeah. So. Take care of her fleas. We're getting rid of her fleas. Mm -hmm. uh, give her a bath. Yeah, we gave her a bath. Taking care of her wounds. Yeah, taking care of her rooms. And yeah, she's standing out a little yeah. bit. She's walking around a little bit. Yeah. What did we name her? And 
Lucky. We named her Lucky, so... Lucky! Lucky um, is a cute name. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is probably going to be, like, a week or two to we'll let her go downstairs, because Mimi's basically the cat person on our house. <laughs> so, she loves cats. Yeah. We have so, dogs. Yeah, well, we have dogs up here. We keep them up here, and then we bring cats downstairs. Now, Mimi has one cat, because... One died like a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. But we're not going to get in that to that in this video. So. We're going to sit down. Lucky dying. lives. Yep. Lucky, Lucky lives was on the brink dead. of death. Yep. We brought Lucky back. Now Lucky is working, for, working on Lucky's fleas. Tomorrow night we'll work on her eye gunks. What does that mean? Her little leaky eyes. Oh. Leaky eyes. Um. <laughs> Hi guys. So yeah. So what the kids were saying. So we found a a, a cat in the driveway uh, one night. We didn't know what it was, and it looked like it was just sleeping in the driveway. So we didn't pay much attention to it. Um, the next morning, I didn't even pay attention. I was just going to work, and um, uh, by that afternoon, by the time I came home, the kids were were kind of on me about, hey, the the cat's by the chicken coops, and it doesn't look like it's doing too well, and and and. Uh, and that so uh, I said well we'll go down we'll take a look at it and I found it and it was not it wasn't in the greatest shape it was shallow breathing labored breathing um, didn't want to move on its own power when it did it just collapsed so um, so I, I hollered out to, to Emmett and I said just go get me a towel real quick so I wrapped her up in a towel um, and we had some um, blunt and the syringes just regular syringes that uh, my wife used well, back uh, when when she was breastfeeding with the kids um, and I filled one with water and I said well let's just give her water and let's just you know see what happens uh, one of those and um, so we gave it water it took it well um, still it wasn't um, wasn't really responding to anything else so um, I said, well, I said, let's um, keep her on the deck for a little while. And I, I called out to Emmett to uh, go get one of our uh, little kennels down at their playhouse. So he did. And we gave her a towel, put her in, her, put her in that. And um, uh, so we'll just keep an eye on her, see if, you know, she's dehydrated. And, and I know she was emaciated too. So it was kind of a, you know, the water's going to give her a little bit of energy because she's going to feel better with the hydration, but it's not going to last. So, um we gave her water, uh, syringed up a little soupy cat food uh, that we could do just to give her a little nourishment. Um, and uh, pretty much said, hey, if you make it through the night, we're going to do more for you. And she made it through that night. And uh, so the next day, we're like, well, let's give her a bath. Um, she most definitely got grabbed by something, taken by something. Uh, she had um, old puncture wounds that were filled with maggots, which... It sounds bad, but it's not altogether a bad thing. Uh, maggots will eat dead bacteria. They can actually slough off the wound and and, and kind of clean out the dead uh, material. Um, but still, it's kind of like <laughs> right off the bat. So I so, said, well, let's give her a bath. Let's clean her up. Let's make her comfortable and see what happens. So we gave her a bath and fed her some more and, and gave her more water and put her back in her little cage for the night and and uh see how the night goes and and uh kind of you know fed her a little bit throughout the night and more water throughout the night and and uh well, let's just see how this goes so today we're um we came home and uh, uh attempted to control the fleas on her and um um fed her some more nourishing food we actually got some baby food uh, meat based, uh, no spices, no garlic, no nothing, just, you know, macerated turkey. And, uh, fed her that tonight. And, um, um, sounds gross, but last night she had a urinating movement, which is great, which means her kidneys are, are functioning. Um, and, uh, tonight she had, uh, she, she defecated, which is great because her digestive is functioning. Um, she has a little bit more energy now. Uh, she has a little bit more spunk. Um, I think she's going to be a really good cat. I'm not a cat person. I've fallen in love with Lucky now. And um, we'll just we'll just keep it going. Tomorrow we'll give you another video. This is an extra long video tonight because we had to 
indulge you with what had happened throughout the, the, the days. Uh, but um, we're excited. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Um, we're um, we're kind of falling in love with her. She's a cute little cat. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we can give you some pictures and uh, show you um, what she, she's sleeping right now. We don't like to bother her. We just want her to gain her energy back. But um, it's good. It's, it's looking good. Uh, when she gets back her strength and puts on some weight, we're going to bring her to the vet, see what kind of parasites she has, uh, clean out those parasites, and um, go from there. So, um, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Emmett will keep you posted. Uh, with the ratings, uh, you, you love these guys more than you do us, <laughs> which is totally fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you guys later. Um, we'll let you know what's going on. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we're hopefully going to make another channel. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So, we'll keep you updated, and peace. Peace.